Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. It is New Year's Eve, almost 10 o'clock at night. And uh, the kids still haven't gone to sleep, still being loud. So anyways, we got a great shave for you. I wasn't going to do it this weekend because I knew, you know, we were going to have a lot of fun and it was just going to be hard to fit into shape. But this has been sitting in the bottom of my shave bowl for multiple days. And I wanted to use this razor. I want to use the soap that's been in the shave bowl for three days. Hasn't been lathered, just been scooped in in the bottom. Stateside Sonata, Ariana and Evans, and Lather Talk collaboration. VR2 base. I will put up base ingredients and then scent notes. We whipped it up in the awesome Aquamarine Captain's Choice. You know, I'm going to be using that for a while. This is new addition to the Shaved Den. This is uh, the Micarta made from some old UPS Browns I have. And we did the yellow flake, whatever, to kind of match the UPS, you know, theme we had going on. But it's from Sawdust Creations. And we're going to use the o Overlander Aluminium, for those of you that would prefer to hear it that way. And uh, it is in my Spidey Edition colorway. Had this done, really excited about it. My daughter compared it to my Rockwell because she saw that sitting out and she's like, ooh. She's like, this one's brighter. Brighter red, brighter blue. She's like, and this one's darker, and she likes the little red at the bottom. So, like, that's the difference, guys. She's right. More darker, more brighter. I do like it. So, these came in from Matt1989. He's got a YouTube channel here, if y'all haven't seen him. Pole Silver. These are what Wizomets were before Wizomets. Um, Pole Silver, I believe, was made in Poland. Believes that that's correct. And then the facility was sold to whoever was at Procter and Gamble. They went to Russia, rebranded them, but everything looks the same. And I haven't put it in the razor yet, and I want to show you why. Looks just like Wizomets, but do you see that? Too much glue, just like a Wizomet. It's a shame. I hate so much glue. But thank you, Matt. I do appreciate it. Um, I've used Pulse Silvers before. That's why I started using Wizomet. Oh, we got the washer on there. It's supposed to come off. Reach over. Oop. There's the loop from the post. The grease he had on there. Which, again, it's a great thing, guys. We're going to load the top cap all the glue place it in boom and I'm expecting the threading to be oh so sweet <sighs> they're watching frozen they've just been loud jumping off the walls um, even turning TV off wasn't helping um, Put on a movie my daughter doesn't like so she went to the bottom bunk and she's trying not to watch it my son's on her top bunk and he's watching it so she'll probably fall asleep soon all right let's hope we got it hydrated enough if not we can dial it in didn't use a ton of soap to lather this now guys as for this scent when you're smelling it off the tub, you really get the apple and like an orange scent. I don't know if it's an orange or if he used like specified what kind of orange. I don't know. Haven't looked at the scent notes. I do remember Pete and uh, Latherhog doing a video on it. And like we've got three or four days worth of growth, guys. Hope everyone has, you know, had a great new year because by the time you see this, most likely, y'all are doing New Year things, so it'll be the next day in the New Year. All right. 
But once it gets lathered up, they said it was more like an apple sheep ray. And I can definitely see that. Kind of lavender and oak moss. Maybe some kind of wood is what I'm getting now that it's lathered up. So. We are mowing down a lot of growth with this new overlander. Loving it actually. First use, pull silver. Which is like using a Wizomet. I don't know. Like, I like this. We'll see how it is like an everyday shaver, but... Just after this first bit, I almost prefer the bison. Sorry for the sniffles. You hear that a lot on this channel, but we have allergies. It's just a thing. But yeah, hope everybody's had wonderful holidays, doing their thing, enjoying themselves. See how this goes. I don't want to bloopage it, and it does seem to have a good amount of hydration. And we did set it with that Oumo knot, guys. But I think it's cool. My card I made out of my UPS browns. Um, I turned into a handle. And he's still got the material, and I'm like, I'm almost thinking. Hey, can you turn more micarta, cut it up in chunks like he does with those lather bowls, and do like micarta chunks in a yellow resin and then turn it into a bowl and then I got a matching bowl. Because I sent my yellow and brown 3D printed bowl to my cousin, trying to get him started. He says he's losing his hair. And he just keeps cutting his hair shorter when he goes to the barber. Each time until soon enough he's going to be shaving it. And I'm like, well, let's get you started with the shaving stuff. I do have a lot of growth. Nothing feels uncomfortable about it. And I can always switch out and try a different blade, but I would say the bison's a little bit smoother of a shave. Not that this isn't smooth, but like I've been using the bison. Like I think I would still put the Aviation 94 definitely above this. I don't know that I'd put the copper can above it. That's probably the realm I would be in with this so far. Beautiful, man. Shaves well. Believe it or not, it's not rinsing well. I don't think that's a... Uh, lather channel issue or anything like that. I think that's more of a, uh, sorry, there's a little bit of soap in the bottom and I'm just gonna make sure I incorporate. I'm gonna do three passes because I had a lot of growth. Yeah, definitely like a uh, apple ship ray is the best way to describe this scent. You know, I'm not trying to sound like 
the people who created it, but they're right, you know. I mean, I don't know what else I can tell you. Smells great. Sorry if you hear TV and kids. I've got the door open just so, like, if I need to pause this and be like, Guys, cut it out. Calm down. It's bedtime. Tomorrow, I'm going to dip the tips and just paint in some water. Tomorrow, I think we're going to do chorizo and eggs for breakfast. My son really won't eat that, but my daughter will. He will probably just eat frozen waffles. And, um, then I think for lunch we're going to do peanut butter, honey, and banana sandwiches. So, and then they'll go to their mom's. And we'll probably do some snacks along the way. I have some brisket cheese dip. that I get from the Publix grocery store. Add a little bit of beer to it, put it in the oven for a while. And you got an awesome cheese dip. Sorry, I was thinking about the cheese dip. And this is pretty smooth. Like, that felt good there. Yeah, real nice. But yeah, we'll do the cheese dip tomorrow at some point for a snack. Oh, yeah. Funny, my daughter says she hates the first Frozen. She doesn't say hate. She said, I really don't like Frozen 1. And it's funny, the thing that scared her early on stopped scaring her for a while, and then it became a scary part again, so I don't know. But all right, guys. You know the drill, we're going to rinse up, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. Now, that was my first use of the VR2. Worked out really nice. I wouldn't say it's more like CK6 if I was going to say it was like any other vegan base. I would say it leans towards Southern Witchcraft inconsistency. Um, this came with Ultima Splash. Which is fun because Ultima Base, Ultima Splash comes together. But since it was collaboration... I think he let John pick what base he would like it in and what splash. Whew. Okay. Kind of getting like the orange, the apple, something kind of floral, but a little bit more on the earthy side. And some kind of warming note. I don't think there's tobacco in here, though. So. But anyways, it's a great scent. Recommend it. Um, I'm going to recommend it anyways, unless it was awful, because good base, good splash. I like the people involved. It's good stuff. I mean, I'd tell you if I didn't like it, but, you know, that's how it goes. So this is a workhorse brush, man. We have that Oumo knot, works great, does what it needs to do. I like the shape. Really like the looks of this. And I guess the star of the party, star of the show, Overlander and Aluminium, red plate, red little knob at the end, blue handle, blue top cap. I think that's sexy. You know me, man, the red and blue, if I can get that combo going, it's great. I mean, I was actually looking to see if I could buy the red one of this and then switch it out. That would be sweet. But all right, it was gone, not available anymore. Ah, splashes absorbed in, that's really a nice feel. 
All right, guys, sorry we've taken so long. I hope everybody had a new, great new year. Gonna have to do a shave of the day. Go check on the kids. Hopefully we get this edited and I'll just like let it release when it's done uploading. Like we're not gonna schedule it or anything. But all right, guys, um, if you made it this far, thumbs up, like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, hit that noti bell, and we will catch you next shave.